at this point in time, the building is pretty much consumed. We're thinking that um, this is going to be a several day event to have all this product burned off. Um, and that's the best thing that we can do right now. And the, the main thing is that we don't want an environmental nightmare to occur. And, and the reason we can, that, that we would cause that is by the use of water streams. So we stopped water operations at this point. We stopped suppression. We felt it was in our best interest to let this product burn off. The Rock River, which is a very large waterway, is about 300 meters uh, to the west of this location. So that's one thing that we're definitely concerned about is product runoff into the river. So we don't want that to happen. Um, so at this point in time, it's best that we just let this product burn. Uh, at this point in time, we have a one mile radius evacuation zone from the point of the incident. Um, we did do air quality. We have uh, several agencies that are assisting us right now, uh, including the city of Rockford Hazmat. Um, they are doing air quality uh, analysis in the area. And at this point in time, there is no danger uh, to air quality at ground level. Now, I understand everyone can see the large plume of smoke uh, that's uh, going south and uh, south east at this point in time, um, but I assure you that there, there is no uh, danger at ground level at the plant. Um, but just for a precautionary measure, we decided that it was in our best interest of community safety that we evacuated the area. Hi, thanks for checking out the NTV Houston YouTube channel. Click over here to check out some other great pieces of content we've made for you. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get alerted whenever new videos come out.